I'm Justin Walborn, and I play the Pope. Uh, Pope is a strange guy, obviously one of those that uh, has been in college a little bit too long. Uh, I watched a lot of Eric Stoltz movies, you know, just to get into it. Um, he's one of those guys that it seems like was driven away from faith to uh, find his own faith and his own path, which I've always been that person anyway, so and it kind of just applied. My first night on Blue Like Jazz was uh, the Ren Fair, which was great because you get to show up and I got to pick out all my own costumes, which was wonderful because most of them were either my clothes or the coolest, weirdest, strangest clothes that I could possibly like pick out. And then you show up and there are 200 extras there that are just waiting to love you, waiting to love the entire idea of Blue Like Jazz, waiting to love the entire idea of Ren Fair, freezing their butts off all in these little togas and there you are in the hat, the robes, leather pants, just ready to, ready to tell them what they need to hear, which is, it's on. And that's, that's pretty much what my blue leg jazz was like. From that moment on, everything was cake, you know? I knew I was gonna be able to talk to individuals as it goes, mainly Don, which was really great. My movie mainly has to do with talking to Don and about his conflict. And, uh, and it seems like being driven away from something and being reminded of things that you've been driven away from and trying to come to terms with that, you know? That it's your own path that you're seeking. It's your own wildness that you need to come to grips with. And I think at the end of the movie, he really is somebody that has to leave the Pope behind, which is really great because he doesn't have a name in the movie. So it always felt like it was just me. And so leaving behind a character or a personality, just to be able to move on in the world and go, who is it that you're gonna be? That was the thing that I most appreciated about it, was that when it was all said and done, you walk away and it's your name that you're gonna carry and whatever you're gonna call yourself, whatever nom de gear that you're going to you know, carry in college is not something you get to have forever. And that's what I really loved. I really loved that he seemed so different than everybody else. He had a power that came from carrying it to the enemy. You know? And that's who I am with the Pope is. So that's what made this all really special. It's probably one of the best roles that I've ever played that didn't have anything to do with a horror movie. Nobody got axed, literally. Nobody exploded. My head didn't blow up. And these are all new experiences for me in movie making and so, uh, you know, I'll carry that for a while. And I'd just like to say thanks to Don Miller for making the book possible coming out and being somebody that I found amazingly inspirational. Steve for having the courage to bring me on to the movie. The fact that the movie folded up once and you know, I kind of had to walk away with a lot of disappointment that it didn't happen. And then the fact that the guys behind the camera right here are the ones that helped make it possible. That's something really special. So take your camera and make your dream and do the thing because there's probably a Pope out there for you.